guys, Curl Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yes. Last time on was the funeral of Captain Dozerman. It was. Um, we also have our Captain Vulture, whatever his real name is, uh, Crimes. Major Crimes. Major Crimes. And uh, we had some help from our previous captain, Holt, Yep. who uh, was able to uh, put Crimes onto the website, and he was happy, and he lets, so James he's and letting our detectives bang and still be detectives. Cool, 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 cool. And he didn't have to go full douche. Didn't have to go full douche. Uh, uh, what else was there? That was about it. The royal um, booty call. Yes. Oh, there was also. How could we forget? So uh, this episode, gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens. That no, one. Why do you have that thing? Because gonna they were gonna loose. throw him away, but right? I couldn't let them do that to my furry little. Oh, he's actually really scary up close. It's horrifying from everywhere. Then he'll just live here and help me solve crimes. Get used to him, everyone, because me and this spider are it's partners gone. for life. Uh, it's gone. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked, and he's gone. Oh, I'm good. I'm out of here. Could have gone far unless he can fly. Can tarantulas fly? Jake, you better find that spider, and I'm not coming back here until you do. Ah! Oh, Sarge. I think I found it. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh no. It's on my head! <laughs> <laughs> now he's stuck in a little room. I love the elevator slowly closing <laughs> and he's like just screaming. Uh, this scream will ever beat Marv's scream. <laughs> Home alone. I've only had one match and it was a pretty obvious catfish situation. My name is Jennifer. You gave me social security. Oh. Jennifer. <laughs> how many dogs do you have? Oh, too many. Three. That's how many I have. Oh. All right, wait, uh, quick question. How do you keep them off the bed? I gave up. I sleep on the floor. Me too. <laughs> it's better, better for, for your, your back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was aiming at somebody else, but now that I have your attention, Charles. He was aiming at a terrible criminal he probably saved the world. Do you want to have Taki Taki at the on, on the bench over there? Sure. I was hoping he'd ask. My work here is done. Oh, We're still eating fish. it. Oh, still fish. Permission to arrest Hitchcock and Scully. I've told you before, it's not harassment unless you can prove intent to fart. No, it's not that. They robbed me. What? They ate my Moose Tracks ice cream. I wouldn't think you like Moose Tracks. It is a delicious treat for all ages. Damn, Rosa. Well, okay. Look. She looks different. The outfit. She doesn't have a jacket on. Yeah, that's what it is. So let's get it. Step uh, one, put a delicious pie in the fridge and cover it with poison. That's what? step one. Step two. Tell their widows they were thieves. It's <laughs> a great step, though. Oh, there she comes. Oh, She's a criminal. Oh, look, you look great. I've got a good feeling about this. Oh, shoot. They just gave me 10 years in prison. My first thought was lawyer, but when it came out with the cops coming out, she didn't started. say no. Got to wait ten years. Or get her off. I mean, <laughs> at ten years. Girl like that, three dogs, makes her own turkey stock. That's the kind of woman you don't get over. Look, Dude, his excitement. I think my judgment's like clouded because I like her a little bit. You doodled your wedding invitation. No, that's our joint tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. You and me, get my lady off together. I mean, you know how that sounds, right? There's a joke. Great news is it doesn't matter because this campaign, like three out of five Backstreet Boys, is inconsequential. That's enough, Gina. All I'm saying is, a, if not the voice of the streets is, this isn't gonna work. If you're not gonna support me, you can leave. Fine. Mm. I will leave. I'm gonna go get a Manny Patty, and I'm gonna do some serious subtweeting. So you might wanna keep off the net. Ice cream spoons. Son of a bitch! You hungry, hungry hippos ate my ice cream. And who throws away a spoon? <laughs> it's the easiest utensil to clean. <laughs> I don't even think it's ice cream. It's probably medicine. I'm sick all over. This is ice cream, and I'm gonna prove it. Sarge, no, it's been in their mouths. What am I doing? Well, I guess your little investigation's hit a dead end. I'll be back. Don't move. Not a problem. I hate moving. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> His haircut is so good. Yeah. 
Does Charles have a girlfriend? I just saw her mouth my name. What did she say? Is she asking if I'm circumcised? What? No! Who asks that? <laughs> Tell when this is all over. I'm gonna rub her body in pate and then rub it off her with a Cornish hound. I'm just gonna give the phone back. Okay. <laughs> Guard got nauseous, so he had to stop. Hmm, that's weird. What? Do you think it's because you're the two most disgusting people in the universe? Could be. Yeah. My hunch, my hunch, my lovely Casey hunch. Come on, Jake. Sing with me. That's not gonna happen. I will literally never. What you gonna do with all that hunch? All that hunch inside your brain? We're, We're gonna, gonna solve, 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 solve this case. Solve this case right in your face. <laughs> we should probably leave this prison. Yep. Such good friends. My name is Sherwin Lamond, sculptor, painter, full-time barista. <laughs> But once I sell my first piece, artist outfit. Oh, nice. I'm Donald Hoberman Seitz. I wear glasses. He's fascinated by the idea of the human chrysalis and society's pupation. Mm, cool. Human chrysalis and whatnot. Mm, you know, you know, whatnot. Mm, it's a whatnot. You know, you know. It's a whatnot. <laughs> I haven't talked to anyone here, but it almost seems like you're going for a human chrysalis thing. I'm glad you'd like it. I wish I could take credit, but this is society. I'm just holding up the mirror. Hmm? Wow. <laughs> well, April 16th was the day my ex, Genevieve, and I covered ourselves with paint and made love on that campus for 24 hours straight. That's pretty pathetic, dude. You seem pretty obsessed with Genevieve, huh? Excuse me? You framed her, and I should arrest you right now! Get out of here. Fine, but we're taking this, because you don't deserve that memory. The penning's $95,000. I don't want it anyway. Your penis was on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Donald is... sucks. You ruin all it. Hey, you dumb dumbs. Ice cream. Yep, it's definitely ice cream. Knew it! They're going down. Also, whoever used this spoon, their body ain't right. <laughs> okay, let's say it is ice cream, but I didn't need it. I couldn't have. I'm lactose intolerant. Me too. You're lying. Have you ever seen us eat dairy? You know no one can bear to watch you eat. Check. <laughs> and check. No, 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 no! Oh, you're stabbing with a spoon! <laughs> I, I gotta say, Boyle, Nick was pretty defensive. <sighs> yeah, and he's a terrible artist. All he does is have sex on canvases. Any fourth grader could do that. But they shouldn't. No. <laughs> they put a Hitler mustache on me. Yes, this is unfortunate. I think Gina was right about the campaign, sir. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't marched in here to say, I told you so. She wouldn't do that. You're right, Amy. Did you have enough time to read it all? Yes. Okay, good. Yep, it's true. It's totally nothing. Ow. It's a bunch of stolen art. <sighs> Damn night boobies. Titty thing. Just me and my five dogs. Wait, I thought you only had three dogs. I just adopted two online right now. Oh, this pit bull hates kids. That's fine. I'll never have any. Add to cart. No, okay. Add to just grab that. You yanked that right on out. I'm off to the cheese shop. And I'm buying by the wheel. <laughs> the cheese wheel. Yeah, I got it. I'm replacing these with these. I love them. Once again, my advice has, like, saved the city. I came up with the slogan. It's tacky to take credit for stuff. <laughs> you got your pizza. Only one pizza for both of us? Oh, my God. That was cheese. an obvious setup, you Lactose morons. intolerance. Cheese. You're eating cheese. You're lying about being lactose intolerant. No, we weren't. Some things are just delicious enough to suffer the consequences. I'm diabetic, but I still eat sugar out of the bag. Oh. <laughs> Just admit you took my moose tracks. Admit it. Admit it. Yeah, we ate it. And we're eating your pizza. So who's the moron now? <laughs> Ooh, stomach. Oh, yeah. Just coming. That was my way. Oh. They admitted it. That's a victory, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where's he taking it? The bathroom. <laughs> coming through, coming through. Move it. I mean, I guess if it's going that fast, you might as well just enjoy it where it's gonna end up. Here this morning, boy, where you been? Cursing out my own shadow for hanging out with a loser like me. <laughs> also an eye doctor appointment. Well, there's something in the holding cell that might cheer you up. That's Nick's assistant. 416! Exactly. She couldn't have rented it because she was busy. Getting busy. Oh, 
good one. This is fantastic. I mean, I'm not happy that she was having sex with another man, but I'm okay with it if that's what gets her off. Do you seriously not hear it? Because it almost seems intentional at this point. Go get your girlfriend out of prison. Oh, thanks, man. Next time you see me, I'm going to be all out of orgasms. No, you can't say that while you're <laughs> hugging someone. <laughs> Next time uh. I see you, I'll be all out of orgasms. Oh, uh. uh, man. Uh. Well, it was Jake's turn to be the good friend. No, yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Uh. I liked the main story there, too, but I also really enjoyed, not so much necessarily the whole Namey thing, though there was elements of that I liked, too, that I want to get into, but... I really enjoyed the Scully Hitchcock proving of the ice cream story. I don't know. I don't know why I enjoyed that one so much. I feel like I shouldn't have, but I did. They're just such dicks, <coughs> and they never suffer any consequences other than gastrointestinal distress. Because the worst consequence is that they exist as them. <laughs> they can't get. They can't get worse. The guy's sitting on the shitter eating pizza and immediately pooping it out. Yeah, and uh, one yeah. of them's getting divorced, right? Isn't one of them like? Uh, last leaving? episode is my wife's leaving me. Yeah. That was Scully, I believe. I guess they're already just at the bottom. But no. I'm diabetic, but I still eat sugar out of the bag. Dad Lowe, he's like, it could have been medicine. How do you know it was ice cream? I take a lot of medicine. It's got a lot wrong with me. Yeah. <laughs> then then That's when they do the, t- the study, <laughs> they test it. This is ice cream. And whoever uses this has a lot wrong with it. <laughs> That's I love great. It. I love the stuff they do. Yeah. Rosa is so believably angry. She is. She's so good. That's what makes it so weird when you see the actress not in character. Because she's so good at it. Mm-hmm. I just love when Terry's just pulling her off. She's just like a like a Wolverine. Just get at him. Mm-hmm. Having her not in her jacket was weird. Really? I mean, they've had her not in the jacket, but she wasn't wearing all black in that scene. She had like a maroon yeah. top yeah, that's and what it tan was. pants. It was, well, it she's just, changing her taste because I, of... Nick, right? Yeah. Maybe. I noticed her clothes more in this episode it. than I feel like I have before. Like, it was that where, like, she was wearing, like, the reddish colored pants or something like that and, like, the gray shirt. And then, then she was wearing, like, a no sleep black shirt. Now, when you say it's weird, are you saying, like, like what exactly are you saying? You're saying, like, oh, she's just out of, I she's noticed, off model. I or are you saying, like, it. damn, who's this? Oh. I just noticed it. The second one, I noticed for different reasons than the first one. But gotcha. I noticed the first one just being, like, something feels different here. The second one, she was back to black, but I, I noticed that one, too. Wait, I'm up. <laughs> uh, how about the uh, the whole Amy uh, Gina story over there? Not my favorite in terms of like a, a comedy part, but I, I like the like awareness of like we're a cop show and. I think what know. I mean the 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 main story of it. I mean Gina's not usually my favorite. Yeah. I like Holt, but it also wasn't a huge like funny kind of thing for Holt or anything. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's kind of like things that we're going through over the last year and stuff like that too. But like what Holt came to and the idea. Like, I felt like almost like welling up yeah. in, in a sense of like, like him being like, you know, we know, you know, we know we have mistakes. We need to fix those. You know, wh- what can we make better? Here's my personal email. I will respond to everybody's. And just that idea of like a police force doing that, I felt like was like a good message for it to have in there. It was. It's almost like writing wish fulfillment where it's like, man, I wish this is how it worked. Yeah. You know? Sure. But... You don't get posters like that up very much. No, you know? and the, it's taking like the idea they have, like let's give a good image for a professional, fun, you know, good police officer, and mm-hmm. then people are just writing stuff on it. But I liked how she's like, it's not just that they're vandalizing these; they're also and the things they were writing down, like racial profiling and stop uh, and frisk. yeah, stop and frisks, and you know, you know, all the things that people talk about too, where it's like you know the no knocks and the you know all the problems and stuff, racial like, injustice, those kind of things, like looking into those and being like. What are people having problems with, and why is it a problem, and how do we fix that? And I like that Holt's like, he thought about it, and then also wanted to make sure of someone who wasn't a police officer talking to Gina of like, do you think this is a good idea? Yeah. You know, and rather so, than just a police officer. Because there's different things where it's like, you know, like being part of a group and being like, oh, this is how we should do this. This is mm-hmm. good. But then letting someone else in from that, like, not normally in that group, talk and give yeah. you some advice, like try to listen too, because criticism from all ends can be can be good. They can be overboard, but there can also be good yeah. stuff that comes from it. And at least for him too, it seems like rather than just existing as part of the PR department, he can actually do something in the PR department, you know? But I also like the design of the poster at the end too. I just thought it was really well designed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's very simple. And I felt like it was the, the big part there was like here's what we here's what we want to say, mm-hmm. 
and then here's the information to be able to get information from you guys, you know? Yeah. So, no. I like that. That was the part that, that's what, I like that for not reasons of, like, this was a fun, hmm. and sh- I enjoyed the show, and they're eating fish donuts, and, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I just liked, I liked the message that that part was giving, while everything else was just kind of the, the fun show that I usually enjoy anyway. And it's fun to have, like, you know, there's lots of shows that I've watched, whether it's, like, Boy Meets World or Psych or whatever, where it's like, these are fun shows that I enjoy watching with these people and the, the shenanigans that occur, but there can also be fun messages that are good and meaningful moments and stuff, too, that, you know, these creators are getting across. On that note, the the story with Boyle and Genevieve and the things that they go through and the joint tombstone. And <laughs> they can be together now. <laughs> you know, all that stuff was, it was The good. joint tombstone. The <laughs> joint tombstone? Like... Together for you already made your wedding invitations. That's our joint tombstone. And like the excitement from that actor, the like Boyle, like, he's, so he's, like good. he's like so excited about it. But he's also like not like he's excited, but not overly excited. But it's like it's built up inside of him, and it needs to come out. You know? Yeah, he's like a little puppy. Yeah, he he's, is good at description. But there's a level of like there's a level of confidence behind him that like he's not ashamed of what he's doing. No, I don't know if he's aware if he should be ashamed, but I also don't think he cares. Because he knows what he likes and he goes after it. Yeah. And also, it only works because he's so non-threatening. Yeah. Like, if it true. was another person, like, it would be creepy. Yeah. Sure. That's true. Like, if it was Terry, it'd be different, right? Yeah. Like, like this guy, he seems to mean well, and it's from an innocent standpoint, too. He has an innocence about him, I think is what it is, too. Like, yeah, just, like he, he gets obsessed, and mm-hmm. like, like, I, I don't want to call him a stalker. But like there, there's no malevolence in any of his yeah. interests. No. Which is it's just the boil charm, I guess. And I it's don't just know. he's such a great friend. And he's got that repaid back now with Jake just feeling so loyal to him, like, look, this is fucking weird, but I will do it, you know? <laughs> I'm glad they used the get off joke too, because that was one of the things you just gotta get her get her off. Get her off together. Yeah, I love that like we're fulfilling my dream of you and me <laughs> getting off the girl. The girl I'm with together. <laughs> It's like, do you hear what you're saying? You brought it back a few times. I, I loved how the prison guard got grossed out, so they had to stop. The guard right? got nauseous. It wasn't a time. It wasn't a time constraint or whatever. It was, they made him nauseous, and he was done. The, the way he delivered that line was so good. Ugh. The uh, tarantula intro was fun too. Having that on Terry's yeah. head, just him like screaming while the elevator doors are slowly closing. Just imagine yeah. him just being stuck in this tiny little elevator for yeah. what would probably to him seem like forever, <laughs> you know? Like, ah! But you know that, I mean, Terry Crews probably had that tarantula on his head for yeah. 45 minutes while they filmed it, you know? Yeah. It's just like, and that's, there's no digital stuff there. That's just putting a tarantula on your head. Yeah, would you do that? I might. Would you guys uh, put a tarantula on your head? I know, like Rick, I know, like his, he grew up with his mom with arachnophobia. Yeah. And I don't know if that has stemmed any fears into him. Where, like, he, he would be, like... I'd be waiting for, like, the gunshot to come. Like, I, w- I probably wouldn't say that you are afraid of spiders, but there might be some lingering elements there yeah. from maybe oh, definitely. growing no, up. I mean, you're we're like, ah, oh, shit! No, whenever I see them... <laughs> scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, someone's shooting at us! <laughs> like, I'll, like, start because I'll expect something to crash or... A base come flying in and crash into you. And... If, like, they, they had... I'm, ass- I'm assuming they had a wrangler there, like, a person handling the animal. And it's probably, like, sure. deep banged or whatever. Yeah, but, like, if they, like, said, like, it's perfectly safe, I think I'd be okay. I don't think it would creep me out. Sure. It's just, like, the, and, the wondering of, like, what are the... What could happen, you know? And lots of people have, like, pet tarantulas and stuff, yeah. too, and those usually are a little bit more docile, and they get fed whenever, and they just yeah. let them crawl on them and stuff, and it's fine. Yeah. And, so, like, I imagine something like that. But if I just found a tarantula in the wild, I would be like, ha-ha, Eric, we can do it! Film me! <laughs> like, <laughs> like that fucking kid from Breaking Bad. He found yeah. a tarantula in the wild, didn't he? That's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I was trying to think. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. I don't watch Breaking Bad. There's just some jokes. In it. It, it's crazy, because I don't want to just write down all the jokes and just be like, oh, I like this. Oh, I sure. like this. You know, like, the talking about art and being like, oh, we can make a Jesus statue out of cigarette butts. Call it Holy Smokes. We should do that. <laughs> you know, like, that one was good. I love the idea and stuff too, but there's there's that point of like, what are the characters doing? Where's the story going? That I'm wanting to write down, but also like, man, I just love some of these jokes that they're saying. They're great. I I grew up out in Whipple, which is a small satellite town to our already small town. Sure. You know, but uh, I think in 2004 we had a terrible, terrible flood, 
It was actually, no, it wasn't 2004. It's like, it was earlier. We had terrible, terrible flood, and Whipple got, like, destroyed. There was a Baptist church in Whipple that got just, like, completely destroyed, like caked mud everywhere up to the steeple, pretty much, right? Uh, and, like, us as a family, like, the families around there, like, went to try to, like, save this building. And it ended up getting, like, condemned or, like, it had so much work that needed to be done on it, it just wasn't worth it, and the church ended up leaving, right? So there's just this empty hall. Well, a guy that runs a, he actually runs, like, a slaughterhouse, like, out that way, bought that building and rents it out for, like, events. And he also will supply meat or anything like that, and he'll have, like, barbecues and stuff. And they call it Holy Smoke because it's a smokehouse now, you know? So when I heard that, I immediately think of Holy Smoke. It's actually the building that my sister got uh, married in. You yeah. were there. Yeah. yeah. But it's called Holy Smoke. So as soon as I think of that, or saw that, I was like, oh, man. It is a great name, though, Holy Smoke. No, yeah. No uh, no captain this time? Like, wasn't even involved in yeah. any of the storylines nope. or anything? No, no vulture? Captain. No vulture. So uh, interesting to, like, bring him in, but then not have him be... You know, like, like Holt's always involved, and Holt we're seeing somewhere else involved, and he's sure. bringing Amy over, and it's kind of a mingling. So I get that, but like, it's weird to not have the captain involved at all. I yep. felt like so. I wonder how often that's going to be the case, where they're like, mm-hmm. you know what, we're still going to tell Holt's story over here, yeah, but the captain is just not going to be around. Like, I wonder yeah. if that's going to be very common. See, I, uh, I'm trying to think of like how I would have caught them stealing the ice cream. I think I just would have set up a camera for like the next time. Next time, yeah, yeah, like not yeah. try to catch them for that time, but get them in the future when you have, like, a repeat of oil. Sure, so you're just Surely like, they're going to do it again. You're just like, they did it, they got away with it. They're not going to get away with it another time. Yeah. So you're not trying to prove what they have done. You're going to make sure you can prove what they might do later. Hmm. I see, I see. Does Moose Tracks ice cream, is that the one that has, like, the little tiny Reese cups in it? What is Moose so. Tracks? It's got to have peanut butter in it some way because I don't eat Moose Tracks. It's got peanut butter, it's got chocolate. I feel like it has, like, it's not Reese cups, but it's, like, really tiny ones. Yeah. That's pretty good. I like chocolate and mint and not. What's your pizza. What's your favorite ice cream? You have to pick one. I don't know. I like cake. Cake flavored ice cream, <laughs> like confetti ice cream. What's your favorite hairstyle? I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I just uh, ice cream wise, I usually go with like this, like like chocolatey chocolate kind of stuff. Like yeah. there was, I think there's some kind of like Eddie's maybe is what it's called. It's in like a brown like circle one. Yeah. I think it's like double chocolate. Fudge, I don't know, hmm. but I usually like going with like a heavy chocolate kind of flavor gotcha. versus like a like just vanilla or whatever. But mm-hmm. I'll eat various ones. I just don't like peanut butter. By you, Rick. I like a caramel. Caramel. Mm. Um, I've always I don't know. I've always been par- partial to like a rocky road. Mm. Yeah, nuts. Nuts. Nuts are great. I don't like nuts. Great nuts. Uh, if I get a shake, some places I like getting marshmallow. Like you just you don't have like a, a, a allergy to nuts. You just don't prefer nuts. I could eat them if I wanted to. Like I think that me and you can get like just get a bowl of Rocky Road and just enjoy some nuts together. No, I would eat around them. You can have all the nuts. I'll take the cream. Well, are you gonna like baby birds spit the nuts into my mouth or something? Or I was just gonna eat around them, but I have I have done that and just spit the nuts out. And you gotta stop. I'm getting nauseous. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine along with us. Go to patreoncom slash blindwave where you can find out the next four reactions. Also, make sure you subscribe right now because we have more videos coming out every single day. You don't want to miss them. And if we do stuff that you haven't seen, go watch that. Now you have more weekly videos. Look at that. That one. <laughs>